welcome back to the Midday News on Fox Carolina. I'm Haley Spittler. Life is a roller coaster full of good times and bad times, but it's learning how to bounce back from the hurt that helps us shift our mindset. And one author has all the tips and tricks in his new book, and he is joining us right now. It's author David Dennis for his new book, Gameness, Land on Your Feet and Not Your Feelings. Thanks so much for joining us. Happy to be with you, Haley. Yeah, so for starters, can you talk about why you decided to write this book? Haley, I spent a lot of years as a, as a private practice counselor and counseled thousands of people. Uh, also the, uh, the father to five kids of my own. And I, one of the things that uh, I, I really wanted to do was to leave something behind for our five children that would uh, be a tool that they could use after I'm gone, uh, that would help them uh, live their life to their fullest potential. And lost my dad when I was young, never got to have that conversation with him. So I told them I was going to leave them something behind that was going to be that conversation I never got to have with my dad. They encouraged me to pass it on to the public, and that's how the book was born. Yeah, absolutely. I know you mentioned one, but I know you've experienced some uh, difficulties in your life. So what advice can you tell people to kind of move on from those setbacks? You know, Haley, I was reading some statistics recently, and it said that uh, we can we can count on probably a million. It's even hard to say that number, a million suicide attempts in America this year, probably 10 million arrests, 700,000 of those teenagers, almost 700,000 marriages will end in divorce. 250,000 children will be swept into the foster care system. And th those are tragic numbers, a lot of pain there for all those individuals, but you just multiply that with the ripple effect of the collateral damage in other people's lives. So that represents a lot of people that have had some type of setback in most cases that weren't able to live their life through that with the mindset of gayness. And the, the, the four attributes that really define what gameness is, is to have a never quit mindset, to have resoluteness to a purpose, to have a fighting spirit, and to have the will required to act beyond your feelings. So there's a, obviously a, a tremendous need for everyone in our society to keep those attributes in mind, because one thing we know for sure, life is uncertain, it's unfair, and it's oftentimes unpleasant. And we should expect every day for adversity to knock on our door, and we've got to answer. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like those statistics just remind us that we're all going through something, really. Um, so what does absolutely. the word gameness mean to you? I know the goal is to develop that gameness mindset. Yeah, you know, I think a great way to to briefly describe it would be people are familiar with the word resilient. And resilience is a very important word. It's foundational to gameness, but resilience is, is an attribute you can have that would allow you to say, for example, when adversity does knock on your door, there's really three responses we can have. One, uh, we can just surrender at, at that point or some, someplace along the line. Secondly, we could say, no, you know what? I'm going to try to survive this. I'm going to try to endure it, get through it. That would be resilient. The last thing, the most important thing we need to do is not only not surrender, not just try to survive it, but subdue it, which is a word not often used, just like gameness isn't. But that means that uh, we, we answer when adversity comes calling, and it's really learning to cultivate a mindset of saying, you know, when, when problems come my way, I'm going to find a way to allow this to grow power and strength in me versus just try to avoid it having power over me. There's a great Navy SEAL quote that I love. It says, we're not here to survive this. We're here to take charge of this. And I think it's that kind of mindset. It's not just trying to survive. It's, it's really deciding in your life that you're going to cultivate a mindset of taking charge of your life, not just the possibilities in the future, but also whatever problem comes your way. How can I, as I go through this problem, find a way to become wiser, uh, more resourceful, and, and stronger? Yeah, absolutely. I truly think this is a book that we all could read, relate to, and learn from. So thank you so much for joining us today. And if you